PFCC stands for Patient and Family Centered Care, and then we added methodology and practice to the, to the name because it's a true methodology. It's not a touchy-feely kind of uh, definition that some people may associate at PFCC with. But the keys are, number one, we view all cares and experience through the eyes of patients and families. The second is we actually engage patients and families in designing the care delivery platforms in a process called co-design. And third, and most importantly, we give them an implement, we give caregivers an implement, implementation tool to go from their current state, which can be very different than others' current state, to drive their team to the ideal care experience. Time-dependent activity-based cost accounting is an accounting system that has been developed by Dr. Bob Kaplan from Harvard Business School. And, and it's the first tool that I know of that is now able to, to capture the true cost for delivering care through an entire experience or through an entire full cycle of care. The most important core of both PFCC methodology and practice and TDABC is we put the patient and family at the center. And only by following the patient and family through their care experience can we collect all the information to look at their outcome, to look at their experiences, and now to capture the cost. So the power of this is that we now have one tool that we can give caregivers to achieve what we call the PFCC trifecta, improved outcomes, uh, improved experiences, and reduced cost. And we feel that that one tool has the potential for being the new operating system for healthcare. The Total Joint Learning Community is a collaborative effort between the Institute for Healthcare Improvement in Boston and the Harvard Business School uh, that developed the TDABC. So 31 organizations across the country have committed to a one-year process in which we apply the tools we've talked about at PFCC and, most importantly, TDABC at their organizations so that we can begin to share information from city to city, state to state on, again, not only outcomes, but what are the true costs for delivering care at their organizations. So we're not leaving behind process improvement uh, like Lean and Six Sigma and, and uh, TPS, but we're wrapping the patient and family care experience around that to achieve the same goals. But the only way to change culture is to involve people. So that's why we feel very strongly that PFCC is a performance improvement tool, not just process improvement. We have, I think, for the, one of the first times, the ability to change the system with the help of our patients and families. And the power of PFCC with TDABC is we put the patient and family at the center of the care. So not only it achieves our mission, which is to take care of patients and families, but we actually use patients and families as partners to develop new care delivery platforms.